Happy holidays, everyone. As you can tell, our library has been taken over by mass gift gathering and wrapping. That happens this time of year. <laughs> so I hope December is a little less stressful for you, but we've hit 200 on our Facebook page. Nicely done! Now, let's get more YouTube subscribers and we'll just be a big happy story family, shall we? All that to say, let me tell you a story. Once there was a baker who was loved in his town for his wonderful gifts. I mean, he made everything well. His bread was just fluffy, his biscuits were rising, his donuts were hot, and his cookies. No one could get enough of his cookies, especially this time of year, because he made a special kind of cookie called the St. Nicholas cookie. It was in the shape of Santa Claus and sprinkled with red sprinkles and covered with, just delicately with white icing. Now, he was not just precise about how he made his cookies. He was very precise on when he made his cookies never before Thanksgiving, and never after Christmas Eve. He was, um, a little compulsive, but, um, he was that way in about everything. Not just the cookies, but what kind of boxes his donuts went in, how long his yeast rolls rose, how much his bread weighed, how much change he would give back to a customer. Everything had a place, and for him, that meant that he was fair. Well, that might have been true, but with too much fairness in your heart, you may not have enough room for sharing. So one day, he was in his shop, in his bakery, doing what he does, and the bell rang. And a crooked old woman came in with her stick, and she asked him for a dozen of those St. Nicholas cookies. Well, he was happy to comply, put those cookies in a box and handed it to her. She looked at the box, and she looked up at him, and she said, Now, I have a sickly nephew, you know, and could you maybe just put one more cookie in this box? No, 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 the baker said. I'm afraid that's against the rules. You see, you asked for a dozen cookies, and a dozen is 12. So, um, that is 12 cookies. I can't give you 13. The old woman looked at the box again, and then she looked at the baker. You may know about being fair, but you know nothing about sharing. May this season teach your heart to open up to a little bit of caring. And then she gave back the box of cookies and walked out the door. The baker was a little disturbed, to say the least, but he went on about his day and that's when things started going wrong. He dropped his favorite mixing bowl on the floor. His bread and his yeast rolls would not rise. His cookies just couldn't be sweet enough. And those cookies that he did get sweet enough, when he put them in the oven, they just lost their shape, just sliding out all over the pan until it was one big cookie. No St. Nicholas at all. Word ran around word went around town that he had lost his touch. The customers stopped coming. Even their loyal ones, they were going across town to Kroger and Publix. Not good. He wondered how he was going to feed his family if this continued. But that night, he went to sleep and he had a dream. He dreamed that he was a kid again just a little kid and he was with his brother and his sisters and they were going to go get to talk to St. Nicholas. 
Santa Claus was sitting right there on his big chair in his big, beautiful red robe. And he watched as his brother and his sisters went up to the old man. He would lift them onto his lap and they would have a nice little talk about Christmas. And then, to top it all off, the children would get a cookie covered in red sprinkles and white icing. When it got to be the baker's turn, he walked up to the old man, and the old man did not put out his arms to lift him onto his lap, no. He looked at him and crossed them over his chest and looked at the baker. He said, Baker, I am very disappointed in you. <sighs> As generous as I am, as caring and sharing as I am to the young and the old, you could not even give a sickly nephew an extra cookie? And poof, the baker woke up from his dream. He looked around. Everything was the same, except his heart had changed. He got up, though the sun hadn't even risen yet. He got up, put on his clothes, went down to the bakery. And there he pulled out eggs and flour, brown sugar, and everything else that it took to make a beautiful cookie. He put the dry ingredients together. He put the wet ingredients together. He combined them into a big new mixing bowl and made them into the most beautiful cookies you had ever seen, all cut out in that Santa Claus shape, one right after the other. And when they finally were done, they were gorgeous with those red sprinkles and white icing. When the bell finally rang for the front door to open, guess who it was? It was the old woman and her stick, coming in to give the baker a second chance. Before she could even say a word, the baker reached up, grabbed a box of cookies, and handed it to her. She took them and looked in the box. I, 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 oh, I, I can't take this. There, there are 13 cookies in this box, young man. I really only need a dozen. Well, um, let's just call it a baker's dozen, shall we? And uh, for goodness sake, just take the whole box for free. The old woman looked at the baker, smiled with her cookies in hand. She said, you have learned about fairness, and you have learned about sharing. And you now know that those two can make a perfect pairing. Like the baker, I bet that we can learn that if we can be fair, and caring at the same time, we'll find that life can be just as sweet, or even more so, than a cookie with red sprinkles and white icing. I hope you all have a happy holidays. Thank you so much for listening. I can't be a storyteller without you listening.